bring it to a peaceful end. Health officials in Curry County are working to identify nearly 100 people who may have come in contact with a man who tested positive for tuberculosis. It's a disease New Mexico is quite familiar with. Action 7 reporter Mike Springer looks at the state's long history with TB. Go West, young man, was not just an expression for Americans in 1880. They also believed it was a chance for them to survive. The deadly respiratory disease, tuberculosis, was ravaging the country at the time. So, thousands infected with TB flocked to the land of enchantment in search of a cure. Albuquerque's played a huge role in New Mexico as well, and mostly it's because the coming of the railroad in the 1880s really led people or got people here a lot easier. In the late 1880s and into the early 1900s, New Mexico became an ideal spot for people to come to be treated for tuberculosis. Because of the area's high elevation, dry climate, and plenty of sunshine, it was considered an ideal spot for treatment. One of those people to head west was Dr. William Loveless. He had the disease and was seeking a cure for himself. Loveless ended up establishing medical clinics across the state. Our legacy here is because we had several health institutions that were devoted to taking care of tuberculosis patients that uh, treatment developed here in a rather big way. But the flood of TB patients also hurt New Mexico. Patients ended up spreading the disease across the state, increasing New Mexico's TB rate. Eventually, science caught up with the disease and antibiotics were developed to fight it. Reporting in Albuquerque, Mike Springer, KOAT Action 7 News. This week, the Department of Health will try to test individuals who came in contact with a man found to have tuberculosis. The department identified about 100 in Curry County who may have been exposed and has contacted them and is offering free screening and evaluations. They're available tomorrow from 9 to 1 at the Clovis Public Library, North Ennex. Albuquerque Fire